Hello everyone. So today I'm here to explain the first program of Lex and Yak in the system software and OS lab. Okay. So first let us log into Ubuntu. Yes. So I have written one program for this. Okay. So let me open that program using gedit command. So this is the program. Yes. This is the program I have written. So for every Lex program, we will be having three sec uh, sections. First one is definition section, second one is rules section, and third one is the uh, user subroutine section. Okay. So in the definition section, uh, we must write the uh, C code that has to be copied as it is okay, into the C header file. And here we are defining some header files and some variables which we are using in the program. Okay. So it begins with percentage opening brace symbol, Okay, the definition section. And we are including two header files here, standard input and output uh, .h and standard library .h. Okay, so these are the two header files that must be included. Okay, and here we are using four variables v, op, id, and flag. And all these variables are of type integer, and we are assigning zero value for all these variables. Okay, and End of this uh, definition section will be marked by uh, a percentage symbol and the closing brace. And end of this definition section by two percentage symbols. So we can consider this as either end of the definition section or beginning of the rules section. So in the rules section, we are going to write the patterns. Okay, patterns are nothing but the regular expressions. And for those regular expressions, what what action to be? taken place okay that we are writing here so some uh, patterns that we have written here are first we need to recognize the identifiers then the operators uh, because our program is to recognize the uh, identifiers and operators in a valid arithmetic expression and we must print the uh, number of uh, identifiers and operators separately so this is the program pro problem statement so the first rule is okay uh, to identify the identifier identifier means it is the combination of any uh, alphabets followed by the digit okay so the alphabets may be consisting of either small letters or capital letters uh, so we write the range over here okay small letter a to uh, small letter z followed by the capital letter a to capital letter z and followed by the digits 0 to 9 and plus symbol means one or more occurrence of the said regular expression or the pattern. Okay. So if this is the case that the lexical analyzer recognizes, then it should increment the value of this ID by one. Whenever it sees the identifiers, it must increment the value of this identifier. So we write ID plus plus and we must write on a printf statement here which should print the identifier that is it has recognized. Okay, so printf identifier and echo. Why we are using echo statement is whatever identifier that has been recognized by the lexical analyzer that has to be printed as it is. Okay, so we use echo statement. Next, let us identify some operators. Okay, so in order to identify the operators, if we simply put plus minus star and divide symbol, Okay, that will treat the actual meaning of those uh, operators. So in order to escape the actual meaning of those operators, what we use is we use backslash symbol. Okay, so this backslash symbol will escape the actual meaning or functionality of those meta characters, right? So we again write plus symbol here. Plus symbol means uh, one or more occurrence of the same pattern. So if this is the case, what action has to be taken place? Uh, increment the operator value by one, okay, and print the 
operator that has been recognized by the lexical analyzer okay so operator and echo the same thing as before next if the lexical analyzer sees a opening parenthesis okay then it must increment the value of this v by 1 if it sees closing parenthesis then decrement it okay and if it sees any semicolons okay semicolons then flag value must be set to 0 okay and the last pattern or the last rule is what uh, uh, if other than valid arithmetic expression if the user enters any other single character or special character like punctuation symbols that must be ignored okay that must be ignored so in order to do that what we do is we just write the pattern as dot or backslash n so this pattern will match any single character other than the new line character okay so if this is the case just ignore it by using uh, a semicolon okay so this is the end of the rules section next we'll go for main section or user subroutine section so in this main program what we are doing we are asking the user to enter the arithmetic expression so once this printf statement has been executed it will uh, uh, call the yylex function or c uh, sorry routine so this yylex routine will uh, uh, read the statement that has been entered by the user okay and next we are writing some rules for this okay what is that rule if operator plus 1 is equal to id and v is equal to 0 for example i write the uh, expression here as a plus b so this is my example okay so how many operators are present in this one operator and how many identifiers two oper uh, identifiers a and b so operator value is one here identifier value is two here so if we increment operator value by one operator value becomes two so two is equal to two so that is true okay ampersand double ampersand mean and symbol okay and symbol and v is equal to zero so can you see any uh, parenthesis here no right so parenthesis value is zero here so if this condition is true so this condition is true printf it is a valid arithmetic expression so we must print that this is a valid arithmetic expression else if this is not the case okay you must write one printf statement <clears throat> stating the expression is invalid okay and what is our aim we must uh, count the number of identifiers present in this and operators present in this expression so for that what we do we just use printf statement number of identifiers okay comma uh, uh, sorry percentage d comma id printf number of operators percentage d comma operator so whatever value is present in id and operator gets printed over the screen okay so this is the example so let me show you the output so how this program is executed so i use lex arithmetic dot l command okay so this is to compile the program and next i use cc lex dot yy dot c minus ll so we are uh, whatever output generated by lex command that is lex dot yy dot c c file that has to be compiled by the c compiler also and must be linked with the library so for that purpose what we use cc lex dot yy dot c minus l okay next in order to see the output what we do we just use this command dot slash a dot out so it is asking the user to enter the arithmetic expression so i enter a plus b press enter it will display the identifier value as a operator as plus identifier as b so next you press control d okay so it will display the message it is a valid arithmetic expression number of identifiers as two because two identifiers are there a and b and number of operators as one okay 
so this is one case let me execute another type of expression that is with parenthesis a plus b again the same message yes it is a valid so control d it is a valid arithmetic expression the number of identifiers are 2 and operators are 1 okay next enter the arithmetic expression 1 plus 2 identifier 1 uh, operator 1 identifier 2 so it is a valid arithmetic expression okay next let us go for some uh, errors okay uh, like uh, mistyping the arithmetic expression for example opening parenthesis sorry let me clear the screen yes now yes a plus b so this is again the expression but the lexical analyzer recognizes the identifiers and operators okay but it it will treat this as the expression is invalid because uh, we have not completely uh, written the arithmetic expression okay because closing parenthesis is missing there and some other combinations i write hash plus 3 okay operator plus and identifier 3 because we have used one uh, pattern that is dot vertical bar backslash n so that will uh, ignore the special characters right the expression is invalid so this is the output for first program that to part a okay for part a hope you all understood this